Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Postpartum binders are excellent for postpartum recovery, especially if you have diastasis recti. However, you want to avoid these two mistakes to help prevent prolapse and help stop delaying your recovery. So when you are wearing a binder, you want it to support you, but you don't want to cinch it too tight. So diastasis recti and prolapse are intra-abdominal pressure problems, and you don't want too much pressure pushing out here or pushing down on your pelvic floor. If you are able to cinch it too tight, squeezing here, the pressure has to go somewhere. It's going to go down on your pelvic floor. And prolapse is a more difficult problem to fix than diastasis recti. So you want to make sure that you're not cinching it too tight and putting pressure down on your pelvic floor. Also make sure that when you're doing any difficult movement or exercise, you're not bearing down on your pelvic floor. The second mistake that you want to avoid is wearing it too often and so that you're depending on your binder to hold everything in and you're not doing the work yourself. So it's good to wear for shorter periods of time. In the beginning, you wear it for longer, but then you want to wean yourself off of it and start activating and using your own core muscles to be able to progress and heal. I hope you found those two tips helpful. If you have any more questions about postpartum binders or wraps, feel free to put them in the comments below. And of course, I will keep making pregnancy and postpartum workouts, birth education, recovery every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you do have diastasis recti, also I will link to my complete guide on how I healed my four-finger diastasis recti gap in the description box below.